Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This is going to be an L3 Waxy Wonders haul. I have been loving L3 recently. I haven't shared all of my hauls, mainly because I've just been busy and summer fun, and a couple of them have been very large orders, like super big orders. So I just, you know, just didn't share them. But I have one here that I am ready to share just because her stuff is so good and I have to I should be filming all of my hauls but hers I've just been like seriously going crazy on and they've just been so big and it would have just been a four, like literally like a 40 minute video it's bad but anyway let's get into it so this was from a July restock I just now I mean I got it in July but I'm filming it in August because of vacation and all that good stuff so let's jump on in i have trig tarts here these are her trig tarts these things are stinking fabulous i love them for blending and for just on their own i will melt four pieces like one two three four by themselves as i'm blending i'll do two and two and i just i love her her shapes, her scents, her stuff throws phenomenally in my house. It's just incredible. So I have two of the black chamomile. This is a Bath and Body Works dupe and it smells just like it. It is so relaxing. I love this scent. I don't think they make the candle anymore, but um, so that's why I asked if Jennifer had the black chamomile and she did and she poured it and I'm so happy because it smells very very similar if not exactly the same and her scent list you guys is huge like if she if you haven't found it from somebody check with l3 because chances are she has it and chances are she's gonna pour it for you because that's just how she is this is clothes pins and that's also how i got into so much trouble is she pours basically everything that you request and then it gets me in trouble because i buy them all this is clothes pins I've tried clothespins from a couple of vendors. I haven't ever really loved it. Unfortunately, I don't love this one as well. I think I'm just putting officially clothespins in the do not like pile. Um, it's just too sharp for me. I love laundry. I love, you know, detergent scents. But this one is very, very sharp. This one is the best out of all of the clothespins that I've tried. It's not nearly as sharp, but it does still have a zing to it. We have Summer Scoops Type, which is a Yankee Candle dupe. It's a, Summer Scoop is just like a strawberry ice cream type of scent. This smells very, very similar to the candle from Yankee Candle. Oh, it's so good. It's like a berry ice cream. It's not, I mean, it is strawberry heavy, but it's not specifically strawberry because I'm not a huge strawberry fan, but oh, that smells very, very similar. I've got two of her cotton candy. If you guys are cotton candy fans, you've got to try hers. Her cotton candy and her cotton candy craze, they're two separate scents, so incredible. Oh my, I cannot rave about her cotton candy enough. It is just, it is so stinking good and strong. It is not that typical pink cotton candy oil that you get from a lot of other vendors. It is just, it, it's like next level. And when I tell you it is strong, it is strong. I, like I said, I melt four of these in a Trig Tarts. I have, you know, another one of these from a past order and it melted and it lasted for hours and out like the whole day. It is just so good. I, I don't even know how to explain it. Her, it is like some witchcraft that she's got going on in her wax studio. It's wild. Her, it's just get her cotton candy if you're a huge fan. Just try it. That or cotton candy craze. Oh, love. Cashmere Cedar. I got this because I love Cashmere Glow. I was nervous to try this because cedar, I just think of tree. Like I feel like you would just stick, smell like you stuck your head in a tree. But this is gorgeous. Sophisticated, warm, cozy, oh, smooth, sexy. It is just a beautiful scent. Oh my gosh. Mm, it is, it's beautiful. No tree. It does not smell like a tree. <laughs> it is just a lovely, comforting, warm scent. I think this mixed with cashmere glow would be good. This mixed with boardwalk marshmallow clouds would be good. That mixed with the black chamomile would be good. Oh, love, love, love. Another one of hers that is fantastic is Bartlett Pear. Her pear is so good. Yep, it is tart, it is juicy, it is crisp. 
it is a phenomenal pair. Phenomenal. I've tried a couple other vendors that I haven't really loved, but hers, stinking good. And the last trig tar is Riverbank. And I don't have the scent notes for this, but it smells like an aquatic -y, very slightly cologne -y type of scent. Mm, it's very lovely though. A very, very light cologne and aquatic. Yep, really, really lovely. I feel like men would probably like this scent a lot because it's not too, but I mean, women who like fresh and slightly manly would love that as well. We have one scoop and it is in Season of the Witch and this is apples and leaves and it is such a good green color. The lighting is doing it no justice, but this is incredible, you guys. And I don't even really like apple, but man, oh man, is this fall in a jar. It, the, her leaves smells exactly like the Bath and Body Works types mixed with apples. It is just literally fall in a jar. This is a scent that I see myself melting all through fall. When the windows are open, the leaves are slightly changed. You got that crispness in the air. It just sounded like I said Christmas. The crispness and like a Sunday with the fo with football on. I am just so looking forward to melting this during that time. I'm not ready for fall quite yet. That is not what I'm saying. But when fall comes, that will be good. Then we have Mallow Fireside Don't Cross Dreams Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. And her scent description for Don't Cross Dreams is adipose, vanilla cookies, vanilla wafer, and vanilla ice cream. I cut these up already. This is how I uh, cut them in case you're wondering. I just cut her trig tarts right in half and it is perfect. And these are or this is a really lovely fall scent. It is sweet. It is a little bit smoky from that Mallow Fireside. You get a lot of the Don't Cross Streams, which is a phenomenal vanilla blend. If you're a vanilla fan, try hers. Try her Don't Cross Streams. You will not be disappointed. This is awesome. It has gotten so much better, even from, after, from curing for a couple of weeks. Oh, so stinking good. Love that. And we have Boardwalk Mallow Clouds Pretzel Sugar Cookie. And this is very heavy on that pretzel for sure. It is a little bit extra sweetened by the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, but I mostly get her like yeasty pretzel type. I almost even get like a, like a, I don't want to say salty because that's not what it smells like. It doesn't smell like salt. Um, but you know how obviously pretzels have that little sprinkle of sugar. I mean, cinnamon. Oh my God. Salt. <laughs> Not cinnamon or sugar, but it smells very pretzely <laughs> for sure. And then I have three loaves. I have Jubilee zucchini bread, which is vanilla ombre cake, creamy whipped cream frosting, and marshmallow fluff center. That's the set description for uh, Jubilee and then mixed with zucchini bread. And this is how I cut my loaves in case anybody is curious. I already chopped these up. They are ready to go. And I just am not a huge zucchini bread fan. I'm, I'm chalking it up. I'm like, I'm, I'm finally finalizing my thoughts on that. I thought if anybody was gonna make me love zucchini bread, it would be L3 for sure. This isn't bad. But I just, I don't love the zucchini bread. I would love to try her Jubilee by itself. But yeah, I mean, it makes it bearable, the zucchini bread. But I just have so many things that I love from L3 that I just don't see myself fully reaching for this. I will try it, absolutely. But um, yeah, I just don't see myself reaching for that like a hundred percent. I just love other things way more. So, and it's the zucchini bread. It's nothing to do with her. It's just the zucchini bread. Then we have cinnamon sugar pretzel. And this is a cool, it looks brown, but it's purpley. It's a purple color. It's really cool. And this is cinnamon sugar pretzel, really. It has developed a lot over the last couple weeks of curing. When I first got it, it was a super spicy cinnamon, like super spicy but now it has developed into a more sweet cinnamon. You definitely get the pretzel, the yeasty pretzel for sure. And it's good, it's good. I'm not, 
I'm not a crazy pretzel fan, but I like to have them on hand because it's a different type of bakery. You know, and you just don't know what you want to mount. Like I love sugar cookie and vanilla, but eventually there comes a time when there's just like, I don't want sugar cookie vanilla. I want bakery, but I don't know what I want. That is when pretzel comes in for me personally. I can't melt it all the time, but I do like it for that. Those days when I just don't know what to melt, but I want bakery. And then finally we have Boardwalk Mallow Clouds Don't Cross Streams. And I have purchased this one before. This is a repurchase because it is so good. Her Boardwalk Mallow Clouds is good. And like I was saying earlier, her Don't Cross Streams is out of this world good. And this is, this is that. This is just like heaven in a loaf. Wow. Ugh. I can't even describe to you the level of joy that this scent brings me. It's Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds with that extra rich, creamy vanilla. Oh my gosh. If my eyes could roll in the back of my head, they would. That is how good her Don't Cross Dream is mixed with BMC. It is just so stinking good. So that is it, you guys. That is it for this L3 order. I have been obsessed with her stuff. If you have not tried her, try her out. Jennifer is an incredible business owner. She asks for requests, pours like 99% of them. She offers different sizes and quantities for every type of budget. Her wax is so affordable. I mean, those big ass loaves are only $12.95 and you, they are filled to the brim and you can see how many melts I get out of them. I get, you know, actually how many do I get? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. I get 18. Yeah, I get 18 mouths for $12.95, which is a crazy good deal. These are only $3 and I get one, two, three, four. I get four melts out of these. So four melts for $3. This is awesome. These are, how much are her packs? I have my invoice right here. Those packs are $3.95 and I get eight melts out of them. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And then her scoopables are priced at six, no, $8.25. So a little bit more pricey, but you can get, you get way more than eight melts out of a whole scoop. So it works itself out. Anyway, enough ranting and raving about how much I love L3. I just, I love her stuff. It is good. It throws phenomenally. It is just one of my quickly quickly becoming top three vendor for sure if not number one she is that incredible her prices just her whole business combined is phenomenal so thank you guys for watching let me know down below if you've jumped on the l3 train what are your thoughts do you love it do you hate it let a girl know i would love to chat with you all thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye